what the next Far Cry should learn from its predecessors. Far Cry's last entries have all varied in setting and tone, but it's no secret that Ubisoft has been following a set blueprint since Far Cry 3. All the games since feature loud and bombastic combat sequences, open worlds with towers to climb, a big egomaniac of a villain to put down, and various collectibles to find. It's a formula that works but is growing stale after a decade of using it. They all boil down to getting shipwrecked, meeting a militia, and taking outposts until the game is over. Ubisoft's Far Cry series has been going strong ever since its breakout into the mainstream with Far Cry 3. With October on the way, it'll mark the one-year anniversary since the series' latest entry, Far Cry 6, was released. Knowing Ubisoft, a new Far Cry game is surely looming over the horizon, but each game in the series since Far Cry 3 has followed a rigid formula while only making small external changes to the gameplay loop. After a decade of following the same formula and trying to one-up each entry, maybe Ubisoft should look into the series' past and put a higher focus on something else in Far Cry. Far Cry 5, The Player Created Content Far Cry 5 came with a host of changes to the gameplay, which to this day are still quite divisive. However, along with these changes, the game also introduced Far Cry Arcade a user-generated hub of fan-made content, levels, stages, and multiplayer maps. It was essentially a level editor given to the players to create whatever the engine could handle, limited only by the community's imagination. Far Cry Arcade brought near-endless content for players to sink their teeth into when wanting a break from the main storyline, be it alternate levels, challenge missions, or simply recreations of other Ubisoft properties in Far Cry 5's engine. As shown by the immense popularity and impact of Halo's Forge mode, there is always going to be an audience for user-generated content. An addition like Far Cry Arcade would help increase a new game's longevity and give the community a chance to show their creativity. Far Cry 3, The Personal Journey of the Protagonist Far Cry 3 is often considered the best in the series, and that is because of its most memorable aspect, the emphasis on the protagonist's story and what they must go through as a result of the violence. Far Cry games today are full to the brim with gratuitous violence, which ends up making the main character look like a bloodthirsty maniac. Far Cry 5 takes it a step further by making the protagonist a completely blank slate as they rampage through Montana. However, there was an outlier with Far Cry 3's Jason and the personal Heart of Darkness-esque story he finds himself embroiled in, forcing him to let go of what vestiges of civility he had left and embrace the killing and destruction. Since then, Far Cry has lacked this personal view of the protagonist and their story, and perhaps that could be what it is missing. A personal connection to the protagonist and the slaughter they engage in makes for good dramatic tension and leaves much more of a lasting impression than being told to kill and doing just that. Far Cry 2, An Emphasis on Survival and Realism Far Cry has always been set in exotic lands and highly dangerous ecosystems. No entry showcased that better than Far Cry 2. The protagonist had to combat malaria in Africa and make do with shoddy, dirty firearms, which were liable to blow at any given trigger pull. This alongside the disgusting but very realistic healing animations gave Far Cry to a sense of danger wherever players went. Gamers had to navigate using a physical map and guards were placed more prudently, allowing Far Cry 2 to put a higher emphasis on the realism of surviving rather than just how to best kill everyone in your way. The franchise may lean more toward the hyperpower fantasy nowadays but as Resident Evil has shown, it's never too late to return to your roots. Far Cry 2's gameplay focus, Far Cry 3's story focus, and Far Cry 5's community focus could break the stagnation into which Far Cry has settled. Ubisoft has always included new features and angles in the series, but never given them enough focus to make the idea or game stand out from the others. Far Cry 2 and Far Cry 3 are from a time when Ubisoft was unafraid to take a risk but now the series is playing it as safe as possible.